The way chess has been played has not really changed in quite some time. Until now. Welcome to No Plan, and this is the Chess Up chessboard. Now, this is a very unique chessboard in the fact that it's electronic. It has actually an artificial intelligence inside of it. And I'll show you the board right here. Kind of a thick boy, and it's got some buttons right here. Very nice packaging material. The pieces are also very nice. They're simple, but they convey it perfectly and, you know, they got a nice style to them. Now, the primary thing about this chessboard, like I said, is that it's electronic. So for instance, when you turn it on, it lights up. And this is your white side and this is the black side. And when you first get the board, they want you to calibrate it, which is simply done by holding both of these down. and the board is calibrated. Now the board has artificial intelligence. This allows you to have AI assistant to help you and also to fight against AIs, which I think can go up to level 30. You'll need the app to use that because it only goes up to level 12. As you can see right here, when I scale up or go to the AI mode, I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I go up to 12, but I can't go any further than that unless I download the app, which is not a painful process. It's actually a pretty nice app. Let's go ahead and put the pieces on the board. I don't like I don't like putting the rooks like sideways. Like what? what, what, what track? You're supposed to put them this way, but I always like to put it in the facing yeah, forward. Yeah, but they can see where they're where they're going. Exactly. Hmm. When I lift up my piece, it tells me where I can move. So if I move right here, and then right here, the AI it's telling where it wants to move. Move right there, and see if I try to make an illegal move. Let's say I try to move this rook. It says you know I can't move anywhere. Like lights up the pieces for the bishop for the night. The board also has integration with chess.com and I believe it's Lich Chess or Lee Chess. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. You do have to hook that up through the app, which I'll show you right here. It's very easy to get that set up. So once you create your Chess Up account, all you'll have to do is pair the board, which is very easy. There's a button in the top right that allows you to connect it through Bluetooth. Uh, in the app, you're able to see like your history of what games you've played. You also have a tutorial section on learning different moves. It's got a whole bunch of videos which are very helpful. ChessUp actually does seem to have its own online game system, but I was never able to get it to work as people simply rejected my invites to play. However, I did play a lot on chess.com. I didn't try Lee Chess because I don't have an account with them, but chess.com worked great for the most part with the exception of doing a long game. So sometimes me and my friend will do like a three, three days to make your move style game because you know we're not able to be there at the same time and the board did not like that at all. It would never recognize it, but if you did a normal game against a player or an AI, it worked perfectly fine. There's a whole color scheme as explained by the manuals, like the higher difficulties you have, it'll explain what blunders and like mistakes and stuff like that are. You, you can also, again, like I'm showing you here, once you go up to level 30, that's the ELO of 3000, while number one is 100 and it goes up in increments of 100. Being able to play a chess.com match and actually see everything physically without, you know, you can't, it won't move it automatically, but to be able to see it physically is just really cool. Now, one of the things about the board is, let's say you're in a match that you're not winning or both sides are tired. What you can do is you've got many special features, like you can take both kings, and I believe if you put them on black and black, it technically registers black as winning, or if you put it on white and black, then it, or white on white, it technically registers white as winning. There's lots of different key combinations you can do there. And also if you put all the pieces back in the original presentation, it resets the board. Now the board is battery powered, as you've seen. It does come with a nice type A to type C charging cable, which is very long. Something that the manual tells you, there's lots of cool key combinations in there. If you wanna save a game against the AI, you just tap your rook on A1 three times saves the game so you can turn it off. You can't like move the pieces on and it'll tell you where to go. It'll just save it in this presentation in case your battery is running low or you just have to leave. So when I turn this back on and give it a minute to start up, we're back in our game. And if I recall, yep, it's still my move and we're back to where we are. Now this board, it's a little pricey. It's about $300, which honestly is not terrible for chess boards. Like, it's not something you need, you know, you don't need a chess board. If you're gonna have a chess board, you're probably gonna want a nice one. And honestly, I think this is a great chess board if you're a chess.com fanatic and you want something 
physical to see, like that's one of my favorite features of it. But also, I mean, if you're a beginner or well, you're not very good at chess like me, being able to see what moves you can make and also like being able to sort of analyze your games physically without, you know, looking at an app and seeing where you went wrong, it's really, really helpful. And like, you know, being able to see like, hey, these are the moves I can make. I just, I don't know, it, it helps to visually register where things go. And I think it's making me a little better at chess. Also, if you're interested, apparently they're making a Chess Up 2 board. It's available on Kickstarter for backing if you'd like to get one until May 14th. I hope you enjoyed this no plan video and we'll catch you next time.